Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day. Hope you are all having an amazing day today. What the hell is that guy doing? My name is Lex and welcome back to some more GTA 5 where today we're going to be checking out another vehicle from the latest Doomsday DLC update thing for GTA Online. And I think this is going to be another one of these secret vehicles that isn't out by the time this video goes out, but I can't promise anything because who knows what Rockstar's doing these days. So this is the Canis Camacho. Now, I did a video recently where I said that one of the new trucks was the most tunable truck in GTA 5, and up to that point it was, because that was the only one that was released in online. But once this comes out in online mode, this will be the most highly tunable truck for GTA 5. There are so many parts for us to check out on this thing, so many builds that we can do, hopefully. So maybe we'll get two or three builds done out of this one. We'll see. But before we start considering modifying this thing, we should probably check out some comments. These are comments featured from the previous video. If you would like your comments featured, you can leave them in the comment section below. I'll pick some at random and feature them at the start of the next video. And don't forget, you can also follow me on Twitter at figure eight. Links for my Twitter are in the description below. And also Instagram underscore figure eight. You can follow me there as well. Links for that in the description Shit. below as well. So here we are with the Canis Camacho. Now, I've been given a list here by MG Games 100, and it says here that this vehicle is based on the Dodge Crew Chief 715. Now, I've never heard of this vehicle. I have no idea what that is, but if I wasn't given that and I was just told to guess what this was based on, I mean, probably the Canis would probably give you some sort of clues as to what it isn't, but I still feel like this looks like some old Lamborghini. What is that Lamborghini SUV, that really old one? For some reason, I'm getting that vibe on the front. Also, like a little bit of Toyota. I don't know why. It's just something about that front. It's very old school. This is some really weird thing that Rockstar seem to be doing. It's a very old looking front and uh, a semi-modern looking rear. It doesn't look like a completely old truck. Uh, so it's kind of really weird styling. But yeah, I definitely wouldn't have thought Dodge Crew Chief 715 because, I, to be honest, I've never heard of it. I don't really know much about American vehicles or pickup trucks in particular. But this thing is actually quite cheap. From what I can see for the price online, this will cost $345,000, which I think is not bad. I mean, I don't know if there's anything exciting about this, but compared to all the other vehicle prices, this one doesn't seem too crazy. So uh, I'm all for it. Actually, let's just park up over here and just have a quick look at the interior and just the inside of this car before we go ahead and chuck it into Los Santos Customs. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do one build, which is going to be my online build, and then afterwards we're going to be using v Stancer and Trainers and everything to get some custom builds going. So uh, let's have a look around. So here we are with the outside. I'm actually not going to repair it. I quite like these uh, scratches that we've got on the side here. So we've got the Canis badging on the rear sort of imprinted into the rear. We've got these massive huge bumpers with this hook and chain thing. Sort of, we've actually got a whole tow system pulley thing in the back there which is looking pretty meaty already without even adding parts to it. Got these huge bits on the side here, huge wheels. Nice steps as well, because this is actually a whole four-door. Actually got seats in the back. This is a big old truck. Here's the interior, looking pretty basic, pretty low poly, low quality texture. Uh, just your average one, this is definitely taken out of something already. This isn't new for this car. And then we go around to the outside, go to the front. Got these nice little hooks on the bonnet there. And then round to this grill, we've got some lights going on the side of the Canis badging there. I'm not sure if they light up at night. I guess we can find that out. Let's just go have a look. Let's just jump in and turn these lights on and see what we can see here. Also noticing pillarless doors there. And there we go with the lights. So there's actually no lights being used on that grill, but we do have the lights on the top of the roof. And then we've got some fog lights in the bumper, and we've got those other lights as well. And also the white lights down there, just underneath, by the indicators. Yeah, there's quite a lot of lights on that. I'm sure at night that would actually light it up really nicely. So that's it for the quick look. Let's jump in to Los Santos Customs. Okay, so here we are, and we've got 22 categories. We've got bumpers, exhaust, doors, grills, hood. Uh, going down here, liveries as well. We've got roll cages, roof, skirts, bed liners. Oh, this is going to be fun. There's a lot to do here. So let's check some race brakes on. Front bumpers, we have a nice selection of 13. We've got the stock. We've got the stock with light guard, then we've got the primary color light guard, secondary color light guard, the big massive ball bars, now that is meaty, that is chunky. Then we have the primary color version, secondary color version, we also have ball bar number two, 
and primary, secondary, and the stock ram bar, just like the one that we had the other day. That is pretty nice. Man, that is, that's chunky looking. I actually really like that stock bumper. But if we're going to make this crazy, that's going to be like a sort of lightweight race version, I feel like this would be used for. Whereas these ones are nice and meaty. So I'm just going to go for actually the meatiest one here. I'm going to go for that. Then on the rear bumpers, a nice selection. Again, it seems we've got the stock. We've got the stock light cages, which are pretty cool. We've got the chrome light cages. We've got the primary color, secondary color. And then we have the full ball guards going over the lights and the back in stock, chrome, primary and secondary, I'm going to go for the stock ball guards and just make this a whole thick, meaty boy. Then we have engine. Let's go for level four. Exhausts. We have the stock exhaust. We have the twin chrome. We can't really see that. I'm going to have to give this a rev so we can see these exhausts better. There we go. So we have the stock. We have the twin chrome. We have the twin stealth exhaust, which just sort of gets rid of the exhaust, really. I can't really see where the exhaust goes to at that point. Then we have the side pipe going down. There it is on the side. As you can see, is there one on the other side as well? Yes, there is. It's on both sides. That's pretty nice. Oh, I see where the stealth is. Hang on. I'll zoom in on the screen so you can see it. It's right there. So then we have the side pipes. Then we have the twin mitered exhaust. Oh, now that is cool. That is nice. I'm going to go for that because that is just so damn cool. Then onto the doors. We have the stock doors. We have the Mark 1 tubular. Oh, wow. Okay. That is, that is awesome. Then we have the Mark II tubular doors. That is awesome. I like that. I like that very much. I'm actually going to go for the... Oh, actually, I was going to go for the mesh one. But I want more bars, just more thickness. So I'm going to go for that one. Then onto the grill, we have the stock. We have the removed grill, which gets rid of the badging and everything. Then we have the retro grill and the classic grill. Just the nice basic ones that Rockstar seem to offer on quite a few of these. I'm going to go for the removed, just the mesh. On that one. On the hood, we have a lot of choices again. We've got the stock. We've got the black bur Durbar guards. I don't know what Durbar is, but that's pretty cool. It's very... Uh, oh, it's actually lifted. I don't know why that's lifted. Why is that a thing? I don't know much about off-roading. Maybe that's a... Th I don't know what a Durbar guard is, so you guys might have to tell me that one. We also have that in a secondary color. Uh, quite textured there. Then we have the side vented hoods. Pretty nice. Then the carbon version. Not really sure why I'd want to go carbon on this one, to be honest. Maybe the racing one. I don't know. We have the guarded side vents. Oh, so maybe that's a, it's a guard for something. What it is, I don't know. Uh, obviously, when you're off-roading, you wouldn't want mud and stuff to get in. Um, but that this one, okay, this one doesn't make sense because there's no vent underneath it. So what is it guarding it from? Just damaging the bonnet? I don't know. And then we have the vented hood at the back, carbon vented hood, and the utility hood. Seems that we're going all out with this one. I'm going to go for the utility hood. Then onto the lights. Let's actually just go for xenons on this one. As it's modern, as it's an off-roader, we want some nice bright lights. Then onto the liveries. We have a nice selection here, it seems. We've got none. We've got the red retro stripe, which is actually just on the side. It would look better if we had the doors. Uh, I'll definitely be checking that out again in a minute when we have some doors. In fact, let's just put the doors back on for now. So we have the retro red stripe, as you can see. It says Camacho on the side. We have the gold version. Oh, that's actually a whole double. And it goes around to the back as well. That's pretty nice. Nothing on the roof or bonnet or anything like that, though. Then we have the Go Fast Fade. That looks quite 70s. It also has the canis bit on the back painted as well, as you can see. We have another 70s flashback. Camacho. Again, yeah, this is definitely some sort of old school looking pickup truck. Even though it's got a few modern twists. Then we have the Millspec Mayhem. That's definitely a whole sort of army style one. Then we've got the two-color camo, the three-color camo, the redneck tuxedo, uh, which is just some foliage wrap. Then we've got the true patriot, once again, patriot beer, if you really want to go that route. Ugh. Then we have the put out to pasture. Oh, now that's cool. I think for this first one, I might actually just go for the two-color camo and just see if we can make something nice out of it. That might be the secondary color, I'm not sure. But let's find out. Let's just go with that for now. We can always go back later on and change the delivery. So let's just go back and uh, get rid of those doors now. There we go. On the plate, as it's supposed to be, I think, an old school vehicle. Let's actually just go for the blue plates. Then onto the roll cage, we have a huge selection. We've got none. We've got bars number one on the rear, as you can see there. Obviously, this camera is limiting me. Oh, no, it's all right. I can go around this side as well. It won't really show me the back, which is quite annoying for this. Uh, so we have bars. Then we have the chrome. 
Then we had the primary, secondary. Then we have a whole different... Oh, more thick. I think we'd be going for those ones. And then in chrome, primary, secondary, and carbon. I'm just going to go for those in black. Lovely. Onto the roof. We have the stock roof. And then we have no roof. We can make this a full stripped out thing. That is cool. But as I said, I wanted to make this all armoured and stuff. So I think I might just go for the roof with this one. Then onto the skirts. We have the stock. We have the slat skirts. Just a, not really a skirt. It's more just a, a foot thing. Then we have the chrome version, the primary colour and the secondary. I'm just going to go for the slat skirts. Then suspension. Uh, there's no really point in lowering it because I don't really want to lower this. It needs to be an off-roading vehicle. So there's no point for that. Transmission, we get that. Bed liners, so we have the stock truck bed. We have the bed rack. Uh, not sure what it's a rack for, but it's a rack. We have the Durbar rack, ooh, with a weapons crate. We also have one with an ammo crate. We have the utility upgrade. It's got an ammo crate, and it's also got some shovels and stuff like that. And then we have the bed rack with duffel bags. I'm going to go for this one, the utility upgrade, because it just sort of matches. But then we have already got a shovel and an axe on the bonnet, so why would we need two sets? Yeah. Uh, well, in that case, should we just go for the ammo box? I'm going to go for the ammo box. Then it's turbo tuning, and then we just have wheels and windows and stuff like that. We won't do the windows because there isn't really any to worry about apart from on the rear. So on the wheels, we could just keep them stock. Let's see if the off-roading ones are slightly smaller or bigger. Let's see. Uh, they're actually slightly thinner. And slightly bigger. But yeah, I'm actually going to keep those stock as I think they look pretty nice. Although they are in white, that's the only bit that's sort of putting me off. I think I might have to go with a set of wheels that just... Maybe we can get the same design. I thought we had that design going. Apparently we didn't. Right. Okay, well, let me just pick a random one, shall I? There we go. Something like that. The Mudslinger. Just so I can make the colour different. Because obviously this is an online build. You won't be able to change the colour of a stock wheel. So let's go for that in a black steel. I want to make, it, make this look quite dark. And then it's just a case of respraying. So I'm going to go for a matte. Oh, that is nice and just the matte black. I've got to say, or even that matte grey with like a matte grey black camo. Oh, I was not expecting to like that. But I think we might have found the perfect colour already. I don't even need to search for it. I mean, we could have a look through. These aren't too bad. In fact, let me just see if that's the secondary colour or if that is actually black on the other one. It is black on the other one. Ah, so it is going to be a black-based camo. So I think that actually, yeah, I'm going to go for grey. Just a really sort of murdered out camo looking truck. That is pretty meaty. I like that a lot. And there we go. That is that build done. Ooh, that is dark. That is mean. That is cool. So there is my online build completed. I could have actually made the ball bars and stuff just even blacker by just picking the primary colour. That's definitely something I could have done because they look a little bright there. But apart from that, that is nice. That is definitely a, a lot of bars, a lot of bracing, hopefully a lot of protection. And it's actually pretty fast for a big truck. That is not slow at all. Right, so there's that first build done. Now, we can have some fun with v Stancer and Trainers. So I'm now going to try and make an even more lifted version with even bigger wheels than what we already have. So uh, let me just find somewhere to park around here. And let's get on with the build. Okay, got the new one spawned in next to the old one so we can compare it once it's finished. Let's go. Okay, and here we are, almost complete with this build. There's a couple of extra things I want to do. First of all, I just want to see what this paint looks like in different colours. I've gone for this sort of like uh, olive green. It would look good in sort of matte. I mean, that that's a given. But if we had this all in normal, just it's just a nice gloss, I think that looks really nice. I really like how that looks. But the problem is, I can't seem to find a selection that gets rid of this roof, which I wanted to do for this build. So I'm going to have to go over to Los Santos Customs anyway to get rid of this. But I'm going to leave that till last. So I'm going to go ahead and change all the wheels and stuff first. So, let's jump out this camera mod and go to v Stancer. Let's go to tyres. And I just want to make these wheels look bigger. Look at that. I've gone for these custom wheels as well that have got these nice knobbly bits on the tyres. They aren't textured that nicely, but they're still pretty big. 
And then we'll go with some wider wheels. These are definitely going to be sticking out a lot. Uh, hopefully this isn't going to bug out when I make this a little bit bigger. So we get the wheels to about there. This is definitely going to have to be lifted a lot to get this build going. And we have that to there. And then we can go... Let's just go for some visual lowering and get that up there. Just so it doesn't make it really handle weirdly. Because if I was to just make the suspension higher, it might be a little top heavy and just fall over when I go around a corner. Which isn't fun. There we go. Now that looks a lot more fitting to these wheels. But I did want to get these wheels poking out just a little bit. Because they are rubbing on the inside. That's going to be good. I mean, as you can see, they're definitely not visually attached anymore. It's really just to look at from a distance. But there we go. With the whole thing lifted. That is pretty substantial compared to what it was before. Look at that. That is a mad difference. Let me just jump out and get a closer look at this. That is insanity. I love just how much of a difference you can make using V-Stancer. That is a crazy... That Now that looked pretty high in its standard form. Now it looks lowered. Doesn't it? Compared to that. That's, that's crazy. Right. Let me just go to Los Santos Customs. Because I want to do the finishing touch to this build before we move on. I wanted to get rid of the roof. Okay, here we are. Now I can go. No roof. And that is that done. Now we can jump out. And we have our build complete. It definitely looks a bit stupid. With the wheels just not attached to anything. Yeah. In fact, it's also just ruined the whole size thing for me, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, Los Santos Customs has reset all my wheels for me. Thank you for that. There we go. It was about something like that, wasn't it? Well, there we are. That is this second build done. Now, what I want to do... <laughs> this is going to be fun. I want to make a lowered version. I want to see if it's possible to slam this on some nice blingy looking wheels. I'm really curious to see how low we can go. But actually, just before, because I've just had an idea. Remember what I said earlier? about the lowering not working and it might make it a bit top heavy. I am curious to see if we were to lower this back down to more reasonable levels. If I was to then change the height, does it change the acid ah, now? It does actually stay connected to the wheels. So now we can get it actually looking more realistic. Maybe some of you were shouting that to me through your screens and I have answered your calls now because there we go. Now I have it properly lifted with the right suspension and everything working. That fits a hell of a lot better, doesn't it? Try and get that down to even more central to what it was before. There we go. And more on the height. It's just, I'm worried that when I do this, because it really changes the whole handling characteristics of the vehicle, maybe it will be bouncy. Actually, it's quite smooth. But as you can see, it is very top heavy. Look at that. Wait, oh, oh, hang on. I can definitely get this to topple over. Here we go. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Yeah, this, it, yeah, it looks good when you rise the suspension, but it doesn't handle good. Let's try and see if I can get it to flip as I go over this. Ooh, oh, that actually stayed stable. But if I was to just go fast around a corner, it definitely will topple over again. Or even just going through traffic. Oh. There we go. Oh, um, there we go again. Right, let's go the complete opposite way of this then. And try slamming one. Right, so let me just find somewhere nice and simple and bright to park. Maybe we'll do it in that park over there that we just drove through. I don't know if we tuned a car in here before. I think we might have recently, actually. I really can't remember. Right, let's tune this one. Okay, so here we are with this one done. I've cleaned it up. I've gone for a full solid color and actually I haven't really changed much. I've tried to make this look as lightweight as possible. So I've gone for the smallest bumper, which was the original. I haven't gone for anything on the rear. I've gone for these because it looks like I can go a little lower using these ones. We've also gone for that side exhaust as well. And then we've gone for these sports wheels. All I have to now do is slam this down in Beast Dancer. So let's see. Let's jump out. Go to Beast Dancer. Go to tyres, and of course, first of all, I'm going to make it a little bit wider, and then just make the wheels a hell of a lot smaller to try and get this really low down to the ground. I think these wheels might be the key. This is definitely going to look very weird. Just, just so you know, 
I'm aware it's going to look weird. So then we get that, and then we just need to go ahead and change all the collisions. Get that all right and working. Get that down to about there, I think's good. Then do the same on the rear, and then we just have to go to suspension menu. And I'm actually going to lower this down properly and see if it bugs out. Maybe we'll go for the whole visual lowering afterwards, but I'm just curious to see if we can use the proper suspension. Get that down. Oop. There we go. And we'll definitely have to tuck that in to get that into there. That's nice. We can go a little lower. This is definitely a very weird look. <laughs> Maybe one of you guys are going to like this. Who knows? And then we tuck that in. And I'm not going to do any camber. I just want to lower it down. I just want to get it low on some wide wheels. And there we are. And there we are. <laughs> that is insanity. That is pretty mad. Let's just get this onto the road to have a better look at this. It's definitely bugging a little bit. I can feel the wheels sort of glitching as I move. I'm getting a little bit of vibration through the controller, but otherwise, get a load of that. We need to get this into the sun better. This isn't really the right positioning to get some uh, sunny pictures of this. There we go. I'll have it to this side. Let's jump out and have a look around. And here we are. Yeah, definitely. Um... That's a bit wrong. I mean, we could hide that by modifying the bed. Adding the duffel bags would hide that as well for sure. But apart from that, this thing is ridiculously low. Oh, boy. I mean, I'm always a big fan of low things. It always looks weird if you've got something that's supposed to be lifted like this. Drop down to the floor. But do you know what? I think there's going to be some fans of that. I'm sure I'm not going to be the only one that likes that. And there we are. That is it. I probably could have changed the color of the wheels. I made left them a sort of like weird orangey red. But it's not that bad. So there we go. That is the Canis Camacho completed. If by the time this comes out, it's online, you can go ahead and show me how you built yours by going over to Twitter at figure eight and you can send me pictures of your builds. Maybe you have to wait a couple of weeks before it comes out. I don't know when this is being released. Uh, for now, this is currently, as I record this, a secret unreleased vehicle. However you can, for the time being, let me know in the comment section below which one of these builds was your favorite. Did you like the simple online build? Did you like the lifted one? Or do you like the slammed one? Maybe you'd have done yours a little bit differently. You can let me know how you would have done them in the comment section below, but that is going to be it for this video. And actually, it seems that we haven't done one of these in a while. If you've got to the end of this video and you've watched the entirety, you haven't just skipped through, I want, this is going to be another secret word one because we haven't done one of these for a while. And it's always confusing because sometimes I tell you guys to like leave a word and then I forget. And then I wonder why loads of people have left a comment with a random word on it and I, it confuses me to no end. So this could be fun for me too. I want you guys to leave a comment that says rusty railings. There we go. That is our secret words of today's video. And that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. <laughs>